boys yep. <laughs> we're, we're out at Adam Byer Koi Farm. we got here, Leon's here, Twisted, Jeff's here. Twisted Koi, we've got Just For Koi, and the mine, mine man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's go and have a look. <laughs> So if people buy the spares afterwards, Adam, are they allowed to enter the growing show as well, or is that completely separate? It's, it's at the end, it's out, out of the event. So um, the event is done, everybody has the same, goes through the same, equal process. The event's over, we as a farm have something to sell. You guys, because there's loads of you here and it's a great event, opportunity for some additional discounted fish. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Yes. Uh, you're thinking for someone else. Yes. I presume it's fine to go twice, both when you're in the top Absolutely. Um, and there are, you know, just brilliant that some of you have made the, the, the trip over today from Scotland, you know, as far, literally almost the four corners of the UK. We've got Scotland, um, we've got Newcastle, we've got the West Midlands. We've got Newark, <laughs> we've, we've got the South Dorset, South Coast, and, and many other areas as well. So that has just been brilliant, and uh, you know it's it's um, uh, really special to 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 know that there is that interest from from all around the country um, for us and for this event. And um, the, the ones that haven't been able to make it, uh, where they're nominated pickers, then those fish will be picked by the picker, they're going to go into the spare bat over there, just so we can keep the flow uh, moving. At the end of the event, we will move all those fish into a secure uh, bat for those people, and, and uh, Amanda and I will um, you know, just deal with it. Uh, most of them being shipped out, some are being collected. So that's the, that's, that's the process. Okay, any other questions? What an amazing explanation that was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Andy. I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm just really echoing what Adam said. Thanks for everyone's interest in the event. And also, thanks to everybody that supported me on YouTube, because it's not all been plain session over the years, as the majority of you know. And um, it's just good to see so many people down there. Not that I know who a lot of you are, because it's just a name on the screen, but it's good to, to finally chat with a few of you. And, Good that we can get together as a community of people and we've got this for the next year to look forward to together so it's an exciting time really it'll be really good thanks to you for sure oh, yeah, girls, it? All right. no problem i haven't done a lot adam's done the majority of the work well, but yeah. <laughs> thank, and thanks to adam yeah, actually yeah. it's been um it's been a bit tricky at times with covid obviously and um not find too many of your fish because we could have probably sold out a few times over yeah. 
thanks to everybody, because obviously the event wouldn't happen without people wanting to do it. So, right. Look, that is going to work at the end of the 12 months, so we're just going to send photos in. Obviously, you're going to bring the yeah. back in. We, we'll, detail, we'll get something detailed out many months down the line about yeah. that, but basically, it would be, we'll be requiring uh, a small video of the fish in a measuring bowl, which hopefully everybody's got, two bowl preferably, because it shows the quality better. And then Adam's going to, for the quality, Adam will judge that. We're, we're not sure yet, but maybe a bit of hope. And then obviously growth is nice and easy because we've got fish in the bowl the measurement, but we know where it started at. So that's that's easy enough to do. And the categories that you don't want to speech. So the kahaki is yeah, the kahaki there's two for carcass and then there's the best quality, so that'll be judged by what you do for the best fish. And then the best growth. So not the biggest fish, because obviously some are a bit smaller to start with, so it's the biggest yeah. And the single colour fish is just biggest growth from the start of the um, but you will be required to have measuring bowl to do it we, we won't you know we, we can't have someone just saying yeah I've grown it to 85 <laughs> centimetres yeah and then just have a little bit of a fish in the, in the bowl it needs to be a measuring bowl <laughs> ideally blue most people's measuring bowl is blue anyway um, and then it's fair for everybody um, yep. you know. and then you ha are you having a heated section and an unheated section <laughs> <laughs> For the single colour. Yeah, for the single colour, yeah, for the car, yeah. we know. Yeah, otherwise it'd be too many. Yeah. Because we'd have quality heated, unheated, yeah, then heated, yes. unheated, then heated, unheated. Just too many. If I pick myself up first, then just pure luck. Well, the selecting's still going on. I'm sweating me nuts off. It's bloody hot, yeah. Leon's here. Hey, hey, budget pond keeping. There we go. There's Sue from Twisted Koi. There goes Ollie. You got Lee, Lee down there. Say hi, Lee. Hi. Hi, Amanda. <laughs> ANC over there. You've got, got A&C well. A Koi over here. You've got Marek sat there. There they are. They're all there. Kiss your thumbs, people. I'm just getting my own back because Jeff got me on camera. <laughs> hi, good afternoon, guys. This is Twisted Koi. You're here with Sim. Yo! Yo! <laughs> well, what an unsurprising day we're having. Ah. Today, we are actually on our way to Adam's Buyer's Farm again. As yep. if we're not gotten for punishment already. After yesterday, I mean, I must have lost a pound sweating in that room bag in them fish. Not that I'm complaining, mind. But. We had, a, we had a message from Adam today asking if we were able to help. So, uh, yeah, we're on the way and we're going to go and help Adam uh, harvest a couple of his mud bombs. So, we shall see. On that note, we'll get you back a bit later once we get there and see how we go. Hopefully the weather will hold off. So, from me and Vince, we'll see you soon. Yep, so we've arrived back day after the chaos and the mayhem and the absolute brilliant day yesterday put on by Andy Daly from Koi Diaries and uh, Adam and Amanda. But Adam, like ourselves, is running a little late so we're at a loose end until he gets here. So... We'll take a one day down because I know which I know I know one of the ponds that we will be harvesting today. The first one will be uh, this first pond here. This one has well, it, it had thirty three thousand a saggy fry put in it, and that is one of the two ponds that I think Adam wants to uh, harvest today speaking of the man in question 
There he is. <laughs> I'll come back to you later, folks. Oh, there we are in our sexy waders. And we're... Where's I spin this? How do I spin this back round? Oh, bugger. That's better. Adam's just getting the nets and the bits and pieces, and that's where we're heading. The Asagi Pond. They must know what's coming. It's just erupted with life. Some beautiful sizes on some of these fish. I bet the camera's not even picking it up. Really can't wait to start dragging the net with it with Adam. Susan's just cut out of one of the ponds over there to get the floating boom. <laughs> She's like, I gotta get in. Yes, you gotta get in. <laughs> There she is over there, bless her. Did you get in? <laughs> oh, bless her. <laughs> Did you slip much? No, it was like doing an assault course. <laughs> Let's um, pull the baseline a little bit more. Can you start with this side half? Just... That's it, a little bit more. Oh, now you can see him. Yeah, actually, pause there, pause there, Sue. Yeah, I had to stop and do that a couple of times. Let's pause there. We might actually just, while we've got these, actually just capture them. Did you grab one of the bags? Then? Yep. I feel like I need some more kit. I need some kind of like gimbal type thing. Or... Yep. Okay, the water, but... uh, first drag of the Asagi pond. Look at all that fish. Should we still okay? Lovely, stunning Asagi. Sue's in her element. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the sun's out. The fish are in the... Yeah, I'm sweet at it. Mm -hmm. I, the, like, this year I've been okay, yeah. <laughs> YouTube, you guys are all familiar with it. Like, this year I've been um, seeing how popular so it is. Pretty, yes. And I've been trying to do each month like a like a two minutes worth of fifteen second clips, roughly. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean oh, there it goes. Right, here we go. Just like an update sort of thing. Yeah. Got that. One thousand 2000, and I'll be back because I've got to carry these up to H Street. <laughs> Here we go, second pass on the saggy net. Sue doing her bendy gnome bit. Adam's making sure the bottom of the net stays on the bottom of the floor. This baseline is reasonably sort of nicely positioned, sort of like this. Yeah. Let's do the same with the other one. All right, hang on. Actually, If you could pull in this side now, please, and including the baseline. 
In fact, start from the start from the baseline. That's it. Keep pulling the baseline. Pull, pull, pull. Pull. Just the base. Just the baseline. That's it. Just the baseline. There's quite a lot of fish in this one. That's it. Right. <coughs> Caught up on the net. Here we go. Sorry about that. Get up out of the way, and then I'm ready to start moving bags for Adam when he's ready. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Oh. Well, on the first sweep, we took out roughly about 8,000, Adam says. And he thinks there's more in this sweep, so we'll have to wait and see. But look at them. There you can hear the sounds of a very happy man. <laughs> we'll get all of these um, as we straighten out the net so that. We're in the process of harvesting the second pond. We're halfway through the pool and look at all these Oakley fry. Look at the sizes on them. Literally, everywhere you look. Oh wow, Adam, you should be super pleased. You can't, you can only see the light ones. You can, can't you? That's going to be interesting when they all come up. They will send you to see all the dark. Oh, wow. Up the top, in that white net. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Look at those thousands, right? Do you want to start putting it back in now? Um, I need to, uh, in a moment, just reversing. Yep. Just reversing the net. Oh, it's delivered. Yep. How happy are you, Amanda? Very happy. Very happy. How happy are you, Adam? It's looking promising. Yeah! <laughs> Ever the pessimist, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, I know, the size on them. It's looking very promising. It's a full pond. I'll give you very promising. Oh, wow. What an honour. They are, they are a good size. Um, Adam's just looking through the fruits of his hard labours. Looks like Oakley's definitely paying our bills. A few, so, a few um, uh, Achievers. Mm. Just think if you can get that, that growth size in the Achiever line. Look at that, it's a Tancho Achiever. Mm. That one. 
difficult. Uh, that is actually a Tancho yeah. Silver. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. That's quite cool, isn't it? That is awesome. <laughs> I'm glad you're happy. Yeah. They, oh. It's good. There's there's a huge variation in, in size. Size and colours and but stuff, isn't this, it? This sort of thing is, is you see the strength of the backbone? Yep. Very, very tall. Yep. Very tall for a fry. Very, um, so these are what, six to eight weeks old now? Yeah. I mean, they're at the shorter end of that. They're yeah. The, the, um, I have to work it out. They're More to the six. Yeah, they might not even be six, actually. Well, that's phenomenal then. Um, yeah, it's probably, I think it's more like five and a half. Wow. Oh my goodness. Ooh, size of that. Yeah. I didn't imagine that, did I? No. Look at the size of that. <laughs> I just saw one like that over here. That's got a cheap, that's got a uh, patterning on it's it as well. Pattern, yeah, and there's this, this one's interesting. Oh, the sizes. Some, it's going to be, you know, there's some real fascinating fish here. Oh. <laughs> and there's, there's a lot of fish here. Yeah. That's, this is, which is a good thing. Right, let me get out so I can help Amanda. It's a good thing. It's hard to come out of kind of more even... Um, Size. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely some fruits. Wow, there's definitely lots in here. How big is the Asagi female though? It's, it's also, it's, I mean, it's not the same ballpark, but it's, you know, a good 70, it was, I think it was 67 centimetres at, at three. Good size. Yeah. Um, and the pond's obviously done well, and it's, 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 we had less fish in it. Um, But then you've also got Oakley's genetics playing a part here, though, as well, haven't you? Yeah, no, there's some good there. Are. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy for sure. Um, some of these Benigoys are interesting. Oh. I still haven't found one I like yet, Benigoy. Tricky, isn't it? Oh. In what way? Just well, when I look at it, it's not. Oh, look at the size on that thing. It's not quite right, yeah. or it hasn't got. That little yeah. bit of white in the peck fins, you know? Okay. I'm a firm believer if you're going to have a single color, uh, single solid fish, solid colour fish, yeah, it's got to check all the boxes <laughs> to to set the fish off. Can you see what I mean? Yeah, so belly guys are going to be the, 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 the most tricky. Right. Should we get that out? Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. You got that one? Yep. There's loads in there. Right, well, you can. Yeah, Adam is super, super happy. We've had uh, one pull of the net so far and uh, we haven't even basketed it yet, and we've had, this is the fourth bag of fish coming out. There's that many in the net. So, yes, Oakley has definitely produced, and produced very well. Absolutely outstanding. Oh, okay. We had two ponds, Yeah, and this one pond, which I didn't have anything in it, but I just had these, like, uh, best way pools, whatever. Yeah. That was a genuine hobby. Wow. And then we got all the awards and after a few, you know, we started doing quite well. And then when we changed it into a business, it's been taken a huge effort and yeah. commitment. Yeah, because you were still working full time up until what, March, March. Was like this yeah. year, wasn't it? End of March, that's when I stopped, yeah. So Just, that's a lot, wow. Yeah, uh, particularly as, at this size. Um, just a lot of fish to manage and husbandry wise. <laughs> but you know, um, you're getting the balance, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And not only that, if you enjoy this, and it's nice to be more hands-on, anyway, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. It was that was really about the investment, really, just to just to, to build everything. Yeah. Um, 
Fish Obviously, you have a lot of bad times and stuff, but does the good times outweigh it all yeah. overall, do you think? Yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, you don't make so many mistakes. Or, uh, uh, so, it's, it absolutely does. I mean, we're so, we're, you know, I feel really fortunate that it's taken a lot to get here, a lot of work and mm. um, focus and dedication. But I um, still feel fortunate to have been able to do it. Yeah. Oh, the size on that wall. There's a lot of there's a good number of uh, oh. on the, the chargoy side. I think we'll take this bag up for it. Yep. Lovely. Otherwise, that one's going to eat a few of them on the way. Oh. <laughs> really interesting. I can achieve restart back. I don't know, it's just interesting. Oh, man's going to love the size on that one. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All good. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So here we have it folks, I can't lift the bag up because my arms are killing me but here you go, first look at Oakley Fry, and I'll catch you again in a bit. In terms of quantity, the oh, quantity yeah. is important because what it means is, is as well as having fish to sell, it also, it also enables us to select down for the quality. And again, with the open staff, it means that it, it increases the chance of us being able to deliver on our five-year plan. Mm, that's good. That's this, good. That is the, it is, it is the five-year plan with her. Yes, yeah. Um, right, nine bags soap, let's do this. So well, we're at 14 bags and roughly uh, 2,000 fish a bag, and uh, we still got a scene net full. <laughs> Adam's over the moon. Great. Absolutely knackered, bless him. <laughs> you guys done all the work. Um, no wonder Amanda's short, the amount of walking she's had to do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, absolutely mind-blowing. As the sun goes down at Adam by a koi farm, we finally empty the scene net. I'm on my way up to the polytunnel with the last bag. That's 18 bags, 35,000 fish. Absolutely unreal. It's been such an honour to be able to come up here and help Adam and Amanda. And uh, no doubt we'll probably come back to you in the car on the way home. No, I'm back. We're in the polytunnel. So here we have in this net here the contents of the Asagi Pond. This is uh, Adam's first ever Asagi spawning. But the main one of the day that's blown us all away, Adam and Amanda included. Look at all them Oakley Fry. And some of them, there's a couple in there that are almost, almost four inches already. Absolutely mind blowing. Yeah. Yes, and this I think. Some stunning fish. Fish everywhere. And we got this one. And this one. Ah. Now, I'm going to go and get these waders off. Well, folks, 
It's 10 o'clock. We've literally just got home from Adams. I'll be with you in about 10 minutes to tell you about the fry that we were given. Well, Adam came running out to us as we were getting into the car and uh, he surprised us with just a little scoop, he said, of unselected a saggy fry that both myself and Susan helped harvest today. Don't know how many's in there. We'll find that out when I count them out into the growing on tank in about 10, 15 minutes time. You need to stretch out and we are knackered. Right, and I'm back folks. It's now 10 to 11. The bag has been floating for a little while. Susan's gone to bed, bless her. She's absolutely bushwhacked. And uh, she's got to go uh, to work tomorrow morning at half past seven. So, yep, it's down to me to debag these and then uh, have a count up. Really, really happy. Really, really shocked that we've got them. But over the moon, these are actually the Asagi Fry that myself and Susan helped Adam harvest earlier today. And because they've come straight out of the mud pond into the holding tank, Adam ran off as we were getting into the car and then said, wait, 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 wait. And because he knows Susan loves the saggies, he gave us what he called just a little scoop. So this little scoop needs counting. And once I've finished counting them into the tank, then I will come back to you to say final words. Uh, the reason I'm not putting these out to the front pond is purely because of their size. As you know, we've, uh, we've now put all the littler ones back out the front and the oak tree fryer that we had. So it makes more sense to put them in here than it does out there because I don't want these going munch to munch on our Oakley fry. Okay, give me a couple of minutes and I'll get back to you. Well, there we go, all finally counted out. Uh, just a little scoop turned out to be exactly 105. <laughs> the growing on tank definitely looks a damn sight and her lively now. But that has topped off an absolutely awesome, amazing, mind blowing day. Just to see the amount of Oakley fry in itself was mind blowing. It actually turned out to be Adam's record harvest, as in the first time he's harvested as many fry on a first pass on a single pond. We bagged up approximately 35,000, I think it was. Eighteen bags, I think it was, in the end. We're approximately, uh, Adam says, approximately about a thousand fish in a netful. So two netfuls per bag. 
So yeah, that's a lot of fish. But on that note, I am going to let these settle in because the light should be well and truly out by now. And I know Susan would be saying exactly the same if she wasn't in bed poop because she's got to be at work in the morning. Thank you very much for watching. All our new subscribers, thank you very much for joining us. And no doubt, we will speak to you again in a couple of days. But until then, we will catch you on the next one.